This is Moen from Dallas Real. It has been a while uh, that I have not made a video like this before. But uh, as you can see from this area, I just finished my uh, hike, if you must say. I usually do this to uh, get out of my zone, for, uh, to uh, really test my physical self, to shift my perspective about uh, what life is all about. And uh, what I'm about to share with you is my first ayahuasca experience. Before we get deep into this, just so that you guys understand, it was amazing. It was weird as fuck. But just so that you understand this, this is not a drug. This is a, a drink, like a tea, made out of native Peruvian plants from the Amazons. And somebody specific who's highly trained in uh, mixing this stuff up, they cook it into a tea. And uh, we drink this tea. And it has healing qualities on it. Now, the chemical that forms when you cook this stuff is DMT but it gives you this weird little perspective about life now about the real journey of my ayahuasca ceremony i would come back to you uh with another video please check that out but this video after my ayahuasca ceremony i have been asking some fundamental questions about life about what is the true meaning of life um for example uh you know, everybody wants to be an entrepreneur. I want to be successful. Everybody wants to be successful. But at the end of the day, if we die and leave everything over here, what is the point of running and struggling every single day of your, of your life? So some fundamental questions within me and myself, I had to answer those before I embark into the business area. Or let me just rephrase that entrepreneurial creative side of it where I am self-employed and um, I've realized that it is not about the money it was never about the money it was me and my freedom because I am an immigrant here in the United States who came in from another country I had constraints on uh, finances which just shrunk my uh, ability to explore and uh, travel I love traveling. I think traveling is the most healthiest thing that anybody can ever do. Traveling helps in business too. This is how it helps in business. While you travel without planning, yes, you go into this different city and then you innovate to survive. You mix with people, you get out of your comfort zone, you have to sleep in uh, some park if you have to, if you don't have uh, a hotel that is rented out. These are stuff that builds up uh, different neurological experience in your brain and then when you go out in the business world and then you use this kind of perspective in your business like for example you want to invent or start something like a small startup and then you don't know how it's gonna work how you're gonna get the funding then you spontaneously start creating this kind of uh, human animalistic like behavior like you're agile you're free-flowing you're you're more natural in terms of gaining your momentum in terms of whatever you're trying to do. Now, this year, since my ayahuasca ceremony, I have decided that I'm going to explore and live my life with my rules, with my core belief system, my values. What do I value? I've been questioning this kind of stuff recently, this month after this ceremony that uh, I have been blessed with. So, we were talking about how traveling can really shape your brain and give you those experiences that you can really take in and utilize in terms of business. Now, let me make it very clear. When I talk about business, I'm talking about self-employment, entrepreneurship, creativity, creating something of your own, working for yourself. Because there's this notion going on right now in the, uh, in the specifically the U.S. because of Mrs. Mr. Trump's adventures of how he would uh, win his elections, people tend to have this negative outlook on business people, people who want to uh, work for themselves, people who want to innovate something. Now, 
perspective of individuals will differ from one place to another. So just so that we are clear, we are not trying to be aggressive or try to say whatever we want, try to disrespect other people. Uh, what means to me as an entrepreneur and a businessman is working for myself, creating an environment where I love waking up every day and going to put in work. That's all it is. Now, coming back to the point, the fact that when we travel, it gives you those experiences and you get to, your brain starts rewiring itself spontaneously to make decisions and to survive. Now, when you take that to a corporate meeting or a corporate business or anything that you're trying to create, you, your brain starts automatically working as what decisions you need to make. How are you going to survive? How are you going to make things better? Can other people rely on you? These are the things that I think helps build up specifically when you're in business for yourself or specifically when you're traveling. Now, I usually travel for a span period of time, which is a week. I would love to travel more for more than a week, but now specifically, because I'm busy, I'm innovating, there's a lot of projects in my head, I'm gonna travel in for about eight days this following week. Now when that happens, it's gonna be a challenge for me because I don't have a clue where I'm going. I'm gonna start driving off from here in Dallas, Texas, and I'm going to stop in different cities, get, uh, talk, meeting different people, networking, experiencing. If an opportunity shows up, I am open to take that challenge and see where it goes. That is innovation on the spot. Mistakes are gonna happen, that's fine. I don't have a hotel prepared for me to uh, crash on, but I have a sleeping bag and all the tools to survive in the wild. So my plan is to go all the way to Savannah, Georgia and then crash over there uh, on the beach and just breathe into that nature and really tap into my core human behavior, the ability to survive, the ability to innovate, the ability to, 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 to be uh, uh, an, an amazing creative human being when pressure is being placed on your survival. This place is an amazing place and I took a hike. It takes about uh, an hour to go on the other side and then just explore the whole thing. What I was trying to tell myself is that while I by myself, without knowing what is out there and taking that risk, I'm building my confidence in terms of taking risk in the real world, in in, in, in your everyday life, in your um, relationships or finances, whatever it is, taking risk to keep that ball of a relationship or your business, that ball rolling so that it can grow by itself. Self-image is a myth. Let me give you an example. I used to think when I first came here that I was going to be a nurse. And I was quite good at it, specifically because validations was coming in from outside sources saying being a nurse is an amazing thing. Being a nice nurse is looked upon by other people, not by, not necessarily from myself, from other people that it is a quality, it is respected, it's something to be achieved. You know that validation, I can smell that validation from, from the other uh, others that are telling me that being a nurse is going to be a very good thing. Same goes with medical school. A lot of people go through medical school really understanding what is there out in the real world, how stressful it can be sometimes. So your core belief system and your core uh, metabolism, if it's not ingrained with being a doctor, yes, you're going to be a doctor, you're going to make a lot of money, but that may not be the thing that you are truly gifted at, that gift that you came here with, that gift that you're supposed to give to the world. Do you know what I mean? Like the, the shift of that little perspective of maybe there is a specific thing that I'm good at. So I dropped out of nursing school and I went to my expedition of exploring and traveling and I thought I'm going to record it every place that I go. So far I have been to the East Coast and a lot of other places but this is fear was kicking in to, to start making this kind of videos and uh, just telling or just expre expressing myself. YouTube is a form of expression for me and I think it should be for everybody else. And this is my journey to finding myself. 
um, as you can already see that when I first started this video I was a little bit going off track I was fluctuating from one side to another my my thoughts were not aligned clearly it was not coming across clearly now as you see I start doing and talking more and more into the camera after a bit little bit into this video I'm more natural more ingrained more purposeful when I'm talking on the camera and it feels more real this is exactly what is required for you in any sector of your life your personal relationships your businesses you gotta have to dive in and in the beginning there's gonna be resistance it's gonna be awkward okay it's gonna be awkward it's gonna be weird let me give you a weird example that every I think everybody can relate with you know remember when you were a young kid back in high school and uh, you had a crush on this one girl and on your mind you would think and calculate all this weird uh, experiences even before you went and talked to her okay now look into the other side of the perspective look look from the perspective of that girl she doesn't even know this exists exists that this person exists and you before anything happens try to calculate all this stuff this is naturally ingrained in every human's brain this is called survival mechanism but how do you get out of that zone that over calculation that there is nothing called safety in the first place so how you can do this is because you can start going and having those experiences in the beginning it's gonna be some negative experiences because you're not you're not more natural you're not ingrained so for example when you go and talk to this girl in the first time it's gonna be really awkward for you and you're gonna come across as a weirdo even though if you're not it doesn't matter you came across as a weirdo perspective is everything perspective is everything if you can knob this perspective now the more you do it over and over a period of time you get better and you get more natural like I am right now I'm talking more natural into this camera and uh, what I have learned after that ayahuasca experience is that self-image can be changed over time with self-growth with experiences that comes onto you without any clue that would be on your life some of the experiences have changed my life uh, this year a lot of things have changed in my life a lot a lot a lot of things a lot of relationships fell apart a lot of good relationships came in so I I, I would be I would be like really freaking out when those relationships were falling apart when those uh, businesses would not go through when those finances those claims those those investments would not fall up but I did not realize at that moment that this was all happening for this day today is the best day now the reason why I say is that I have started uh, one of my networks which is going okay I have met so many people trying to do this and those people are right now coming back and helping me other things that have happened is because a lot of friendships and relationships have fall apart because I'm growing I'm finding my true self and my true purpose in this art I'm trying to make sense of all this that I'm doing all the hard work the uh, exploration the meeting people the, the the awkwardness that I'm overcoming every single day is coming together for something bigger that's what I believe this has to be a journey that is aligned with your values and it is gonna be hard it is not easy the entrepreneurial journey is not easy I have so many times broken free of my self-image and it was hot hard in the beginning and it would hurt slowly and surely I'm seeing the results after a long time I, I feel more self-aware I feel more free to do what I want I love traveling and I enjoy traveling without the conscious uh, grinding in my brain that I have to work tomorrow I have to make sure this works tomorrow I have to do this tomorrow I'm slightly letting it go flowing with the world's divine order I know it sounds weird to you guys but when you see the other uh, video, my first ayahuasca experience, you get to probably realize that uh, uh, all this terminology that I'm starting to use, the divine order, the uh, the game of the, 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 the energy or the journey of your life, 
and you're the artist of it and you will probably figure it out one day or the other. This is Moin from Dallas Real. Till next time.